here is a hydrogen fuel factory. Solar cells drive the hydrogen fuel converter. The sun has been shining. Pressure is built up in the tank. That's pushed that piston over. Operated the switch to cut off the uh, hydrogen fuel generator. And there's a tap here. It should let it through to here. And there's a fuel cell. Hydrogen is made, runs down that pipe. I open the tap, it runs down that pipe into that fuel cell there. And there's a little storage uh, balloon there for it. And I've got some, uh, I've got some various uh, gadgets on here just to purge a system of air. I can release air, I can suck air out by pulling that piston there and operating that valve. Basically what you've got is a hydrogen uh, fuel cell powered uh, electric motor. That side makes all the hydrogen from solar power. This side turns hydrogen back into electricity, uh, drives a motor. And uh, this bottom tank's full of water because the hydrogen was leaking out past the seal on the piston. So what happens is the hydrogen pushes down from the top tank that forces water out of the lower tank to push the piston over. And by using water, that keeps a tight seal and uh, doesn't leak. Doesn't matter so much with this one because it's only on uh, briefly. And uh, let's see if I can purge this thing out. What I do is I pull it valve over, put that up there. So I've, uh, switch, switching it that way connects the piston to the uh, system. Switching it that way connects this piston to the exhaust. So you switch it that way, pull it out, switch it that way, let it go, it chucks all the air out. Right, now uh, I need to refuel. So I'll open that valve there, because I've just chucked away all the hydrogen. There you go. That, uh, fills the balloon up. This, by the way, is an old hydrogen racer kit that you buy on the you can get on eBay and other places, and that's what I've made uh, this into. So uh, let's shut that. Let's, uh, I'm purging all the air out of it now. Swing it over like that, pull the piston out, you can see the balloon shrinks. Then uh, move the valve over, let the air out. There's a balloon there, you see. Now if I, uh, <coughs> I open the valve, it fills the balloon up again. Now I put the balloon inside that plastic container to keep the trunk to light off it. To stop it. Uh, it's a bad connection somewhere. This is motor speeding up, slowing down. I'll watch that. But yeah, it's ticking along happily now. And I can see the, I've been using the hydrogen fuel up, so uh, it's the, the pressure starting to drop. Yeah. You have a fun little model. That thing by the, behind, by the way, is uh, under construction. There's a wooden model of a wind turbine for primary school kids. There's a little... There's a little demonstration of gears there, hand crank gears. And, uh, that's the main shaft. The idea is, is that they'll be able to take it over pieces. There's a hub to go in the front there and some other things. Uh, yeah, this is the main point of interest. The uh, hydrogen fuel factory made from a hydrogen racer, one of the hori horizon things. This is the gubbins out of the car. This is the motor I had. And this is obviously the, cha the uh, charging station and it's been rigged up with solar panels and some bits of Fisher Technic. And uh, each one of those is a, some like a 4 volt solar panel or 3.5 volt solar panel. And uh, they're all wired and uh, parallel. The Fisher Technic do their own solar panels if you use those. Uh, 
you need about four, three of the newer ones or six of the older ones because they're lower voltage although the six older ones provide more current because there's more area but uh, yes you use six of the new ones as well and wire them differently so you could actually have entirely Fisher Technic solar panels as well the thing you mustn't do is put too much voltage into that because uh, you basically destroy it and uh, I've wired it up so the switch here normally it's either to solar panel or it goes to battery so they'll go in the base I've actually rewired it a little bit so surplus power from the panels will actually recharge the batteries that does mean of course you need rechargeable batteries in there and uh, it's handy to be able to demonstrate it without uh, switched it off now and that means the solar panels even in just ambient daylight will charge the batteries up in there which is I think enough to give you about a tank full of fuel they have a very basic demonstration of uh, hydrogen renewable technology all we need now are lots of solar panels and wind turbines to make the fuel from water because you, you break down the water there's water in there and there's the water in there and you turn that into hydrogen We've got plenty of water, all we need is electricity to turn it to hydrogen. And the great thing about uh, hydrogen production is it doesn't actually matter when the electricity is available. So uh, essentially you can take surplus power when it's there and not use it when it isn't. So it's a uh, great way of absorbing surplus wind and solar capacity. But of course in order to have surplus wind and solar capacity we need lots of wind turbines and solar panels. So. Uh, that's my vision of what we'll do with all the energy when uh, solar and wind becomes commonplace. We have it one uh, hydrogen fuel factory and uh, electric consumer. It should be possible to disconnect the. Uh, let me crop these one handed. Unplugged it now. So there's our uh, hydrogen field electric motor. I've unplugged the I've unplugged the petrol pump, as it were, the hydrogen pump. So we're now running off the field stored on that side. Woohoo! So there you have it. One the hydrogen field factory. You see, there are slots in the back of that, and. Uh, Hydrogen reacts with oxygen in the air to uh, liberate electrons across the membrane, which generates electricity. So the oxygen in the air gets to it via those slots there. And, uh, and this is a, essentially a reverse fuel cell that makes electricity. Yeah, it is the horizon. It's got horizon there. So it's the horizon uh, H racer, uh, Fisher Technic pneumatic set, and uh, electric motor. That's actually a Fisher Technic motor base that's been cut down because the original motor in there got broken. So I've put another motor in it if you're wondering what that is. But uh, yeah, any low current motor, the, the, the Fisher Technic low current motor would work quite happily on this. Doesn't need to be that fancy thing. The Fisher Technic little motor is uh, quite a compact thing. So certainly if you've got a Fisher Technic hydrogen kit, and as it happens, Fisher Technic do their own hydrogen fuel cell. It's a different format. So uh, you don't need to take it apart an H racer, but I had one, so that's what I did. And uh, good stuff, Fisher Technic. A lot of this grey stuff is from the 1970s, childhood. Later Fisher Technic, they've gone to black, red, and yellow. This is the the base place of modern Fisher Technic. It's black. The old stuff, but pardon me, was grey and red. And in my opinion, it looks much better. So there you have it. Um, uh, one. See the balloon is going down now because the uh, that was full up earlier, but it's going down now because it's been used up in the fuel cell. Nice thing about hydrogen fuel cells is unlike batteries, you can run them completely flat; doesn't do them any damage. Batteries need to be carefully managed. Oh yeah, while I'm here, there's a little valve here. This is an old 1970s valve that they use for purging air out of the system. It sometimes comes in useful. But uh, otherwise, it's uh, all ticking over quite happily. And uh, I'll just plug the field line back in.